Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Chelsea Scalona and I'm a digital illustrator. In this video, I will be drawing my Halloween illustration, Belladonna the Green Witch. So feel free to put me in the background and join me in drawing or sketching whenever you prefer. It is totally fine. Today I have a draw with me video. I did this illustration for Halloween. So I worked on it for about two weeks in the end of October because, you know, I wanted to do it for Halloween. And the thing about this illustration was that I wanted to try something new in my work. Disclaimer, the first intention for this artwork was just about a Halloween theme, but across the process I decided to change the main character into what you saw in the end. So it was a way to try new things while I created new work at the same time. At this point, with a full rough sketch done, I began to fix the more obvious mistakes, like the proportions of the leg and the perspective of the, car of the character. I'm using a picture of myself as reference, since it would be more accurate to my idea and a faster way to get a reference than scrolling through internet trying to find the exact post and perspective. Sometimes I have to take steps back into these details to get a better final result. Diving into the liner. I always say this, but this is really my favorite part of the process. Where I can get everything clean and I am able to see the full illustration. For me, the lines are a very important part.
I'm gonna skip some parts here to not make this video too large. But after I finished the main lines, I added some other details that are part of the black and white process as I like to call it. Perks of living with a cat, hair everywhere, even in your Apple Pencil. Here we are now in the color phase. As you can see, I tried two different skin colors to see which I felt suits better my style. This will serve me for future, future drawings, since I keep the skin colors and reuse them all the time. From this day I don't have much footage, cause one of my camera batteries died and the battery grip also broke. Anyways. I tried to film as much as I could with one battery but I couldn't wait for the battery to charge every time to keep drawing, since I sort of put myself a deadline for this illustration and I intend to keep it. I found it extremely challenging to combine those colors and that make the figure look good in the place that you are setting for her. I am way more used to, to do it with lighter skin types. What she is trying to explain is that I tried several back background colors and changed the couch color too, looking for the best possible combination for my character. But these steps are cut out from the time lapse in Procreate cause it doesn't save the undos from the work process. Now back to the drawing. In this case, I lean on the blending mode to get the desired effect and color combination. I love this kind of details, always makes the character feel more alive. This is another phase where I take advantage of the blending modes. Pick a neutral gray and use the color burned mode to intensify the colors and give the shadow effect in one layer. 
It's kinda like the cell shading technique for animation, but applied to my style. After this, I give a couple more finishing touches and voila, the illustration is done. Now back to the end of the video. So it was like a super fun and challenging illustration for me. I enjoyed it a lot and I am really really happy with the result. I I think it was it was a very positive experience and I am the kind of person who likes to um trying bit bit by bit to explore and do do new things so I hope that you like today's video and let's go with it Hey she forgot to say thank you for watching today's video and if you enjoyed it Remember to like and subscribe for future content. More is in the way, so I'll be seeing you soon. Bye!